Gorilla Graphics. Hello, I am primatologist Robert C. Sturkeys, and this is my assistant and anatomical artist, Gunther. Today, we are going to show you how to draw the brachial plexus, one step at a time. The roots of the brachial plexus come from ventral rami of spinal nerves C5 through T1. With his eye for design, Gunther begins with the upper trunk from C5 and 6 and the lower trunk from C8 and T1. Simplicity is good design. Here Gunther flips his flying V to draw C7. C7 continues to become the middle trunk. Did somebody say flying V? The flying V is an electric guitar model introduced by Gibson in 1958. And this is a blues man. <laughs> To draw the divisions of the trunks, Gunther simply draws an X between the upper and middle trunks, and draws a connection from the lower trunk to the middle trunk, making a sideways Y. Distal to the divisions are the posterior, lateral, and medial cords. The major branches of the brachial plexus are the ones on the far right side of Gunther's graphic, coming from the posterior cord and the W he attached to the lateral and medial cords. Now that you can draw the major branches of the brachial plexus, you are ready for the four threes. Twelve more side branches of the plexus. First, branches from C5, 6, and 7 join to form the long thoracic nerve. Second, draw three branches on the top of the graphic. One on the root, one on the upper trunk, and one on the lateral cord, dorsal scapular, suprascapular, and lateral pectoral nerve. Third, draw three branches on the posterior cord, upper subscapular, thoracodorsal, and lower subscapular. Fourth, add three to the lateral cord, medial pectoral, medial brachial cutaneous, and medial antibrachial cutaneous nerve. Congratulations! You have drawn the brachial plexus and its branches. Now, you may have heard me say roots, trunks, and cords. These are specific terms you need to know. The brachial plexus is composed of roots, trunks, divisions, cords, and terminal branches. Roots come from the ventral rami of spinal nerves. They merge to form the upper and lower trunks. The root from C7 simply continues to form the middle trunk. All three trunks have anterior and posterior divisions. All three posterior divisions converge to form the posterior cord that is posterior to the axillary artery. The anterior division of the lower trunk forms the medial cord. The anterior divisions of the upper 
and middle trunks converge to form the lateral cord. Cords divide to form the terminal branches that you labeled earlier. Congratulations! Now you know how to draw the brachial plexus and all of its branches. Great job, Gunther! Banana? I highly recommend you repeat this exercise a few times until you can do it from memory. Furthermore, try it with your friends. It makes a grand party trick and will really entertain the crowd.